Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this 3D carb effect using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Now, before we start, we need a new document. And for that, we go to our bar, File, New. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi, but you can use any size or dimensions that you want. The only thing is remember to untick the transparent background and you can leave the race as it is. So we give OK and now we have our new document. Now before we start, we go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides show rulers, show context toolbar, and show toolbar. Perfect, with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit, it's quite simple, uh, but I've seen this effect in some books, um, like at the, the cover of the book, uh, not entirely, but just only one part, or in a product photography, for example, with an apple, and the shape was actually a triangle. And when I saw that, uh, it occurred to me, okay, let's see if we can do it in Affinity Designer. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's choose our rectangle tool, like always, hit uh, command and shift, click and drag to make a perfect square, proportional square, basically on the size doesn't matter too much. What I'm going to do to see what I'm doing, I'm going to change the color, okay, because now we need to create something else. So just to see which one is what. Okay, now that we have that one, uh, I'm going to hit Command or Control in a PC J to duplicate, and I'm going to change the color. So let's put something like that so we can see. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click and hold Command and Shift. I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to make it small. Uh, the border or the size of the border depends on what you want to do and how you want it. Uh, I think for me something like that will be fine. And now I'm going to shift and select. So I got both selected. And if you go to your toolbar at the top and geometry, let's hit subtract. Perfect. Now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command and J. So I'm doing a duplicate. I'm going to take the one that is at the bottom and I'm going to change the color to black. Now that I have that, I'm going to come here to my layers effect and I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur and I'm going to start increasing the radius a little bit until you start seeing basically in the corners it's going to get a little bit darker and then that shade, that uh, blurry, uh, like a, uh, sh yeah, like a shade that you have on the borders. So the size also depends of how how far you want to go. For me, I think something like that, something not too not too much, will be f is fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to use. Let's move it up so we can see what I'm doing. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only, um, if I select this one, the nodes that are uh, outside. And I'm going to show you a little trick. So I'm going to first select all of them, holding shift and clicking in each one. Now, if I move now, everything moves together and there is no way to uh, make it smaller or uh, changing in any other way. Now, to make it like a, if it was just a square, it's very simple. If you go here to the transform a panel in the um, contextual toolbar, if you click in um, transform mode, now, as you can see, it's like a square. So basically, I can I can manipulate it completely independent as uh, from the other four, but they're all together. So now what I'm going to do is command shift, hold, click and drag. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So the idea is for this, um, uh, the, the shade doesn't go outside. 
now I can put it like this and as you can see now for example if I want this one um, no tool and I can make it a little bit smaller something like that to get it uh, to get that shadow so now it's very simple I click and drag over everything to select I click group now command J to duplicate and I'm going to send that one to the bottom and now I'm going to make it a smaller so I'm holding command sorry no because it's a group holding just only command click and drag and here also you can give it you can make it as thicker as you want I'm going to make it almost almost the same size so now if you press command and J makes the duplicate and remember to send it to the bottom and we can do once again remember to send it to the bottom and this one I think we can make another one let me see yeah I think it looks fine there so now what I'm going to do is actually this one the last one I'm going to make it a little bit somewhere there I think it will be fine so as you can see you have that effect that everything is going uh, deep into uh, inside like a uh, yeah that 3d effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, just a rectangle something like this uh, the only thing is the color I'm going to choose this color that we have uh, here I'm going to put it there in the middle it doesn't matter too much because it goes at the back so basically with that we close everything and we put just only um, the, the bottom is like a, you can see the bottom of the that effect so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one let's go to the fill and in the luminance what I'm going to do is I'm going to start make them a little bit darker to give that impression that is is going in so on the second one I'm going to choose the second one I come here to my color here and from 70 I'm going to make it from 71 to 70 so just one it needs to be very 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 seldom so this one is going to be 69 and this one here should be 68 the last one should be 67 and the one at the bottom 66 okay so now I'm going to click and drag and select everything I'm going to group and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of noise so we can give it something like a texture okay not too much just a little bit and that's it basically now you have your uh, 3d effect or the 3d panels effect you can put a, a background again if you want something like this and you can give it a color uh, let's give it this color here and we can send it to the back or something like that um maybe a little bit let me see uh, the color let's go there and 67 this one is 71 something like that and let's give it a little bit of noise somewhere there and yeah more or less there we have something so you can finish in any way that you like but basically that is the effect okay so that's it for this video uh, I hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up hit the notification bell remember to leave any comment in the section down below and thank you very much for watching and like always I'm seeing you in the next video